Okay, what's up everyone? It's Demonic Remshin. Now, granted, we all make choices, yea they be good or bad. So, with that said, I can't believe I made the choice to even want to do this rant. Doesn't mean, I'm a Sonic fan. And, um, I really don't care about who does the voice of Sonic. I think each voice fits each and every incarnation of the character. It's that simple to me. But, um, over the years, say like two years ago, or basically, I think when Sonic Adventure came out for the Dreamcast, I kind of lost track of the Sonic franchise and uh, haven't kept up with it since. I mean, busy with other things, like writing and such. Golly, how many times have I said that in a video? But, in any case, right now, since I figure I'm wasting so much time with this, I'm also working on a story I developed based or inspired by the uh, Sonic franchise called Radical Crusade. I'm thinking about asking for opinions from Sonic YouTube fans on that as well, but, um, I'll do that later. First off, we'll just... Well, first and foremost, let's get this out of the way. Now, for one, if there's anything I've noticed with this war among Sonic fans is, well, voiceovers. Some prefer Ryan Drummond, some prefer uh, Jason Griffith, and they just... I understand everyone has their opinion, but like some say Ryan Drummond wasn't dramatic enough to be Sonic, and Jason Griffith was. Now, granted, listening to some of the audio for what Ryan Drummond did with um, Sonic, uh, I understand that opinion. But another thing I think that's being overlooked is script writing and directing. Anyone ever thought to think that maybe the voice actors wanted to do it a certain way but the director said no 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 we're looking for you to do it kinda like this and the voice actors just went with that? Huh? Huh? You ever think of it like that? Of course not. That's the problem. And uh Again, one of the things that it seems that users like Ren DCE, um, TT Trooper, Tuber12, Darkness Archives, Dark Guma Guma, and Carson Rules kind of stress is, well, gameplay. Now, granted, I have not played any of the the Sonic games that have come out for the Dreamcast or the um, PlayStation 2 or the uh, Wii, except for Sonic Riders. And I actually liked that game. I thought it was fun. Sonic on a hoverboard? Awesome in my opinion. And I know people are going to give me crap for that. But hey, I like the game. I'm also looking into wanting to get Sonic 06 and uh, Shadow of the Hedgehog, even though people have said those games have sucked. Which brings me to another topic, hating certain characters. Now, I understand if a lot of people don't like Shadow, but for the love of Fletch, please. <sighs> don't insult the concept that developed him. I mean, if there's anything I've seen, and I probably will see this piece of criticism for Shadow more than anything, is he's too dark, he's too edgy, some would even go so far as to say he's emo. Yeah, that stupid thing that annoys me, the mentioning of how terrible emos are, how they whine and complain about how their life sucks and crap. Yeah, it's gone so far that 
they even criticize fictional entities for being emo. Well, look, Shadow's had it pretty hard. I mean, he lost his closest friend, for goodness sake, to a bunch of, um, idiots with guns. I mean, I'd be pissed, too, if I lost someone close to me with a bunch of luck heads who wanted to kill me just because, well, I was an experiment and they didn't really want to get to know me. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think Shadow's cool. I first got into him when I barely knew anything about him. The only thing I knew about him was he was a black hedgehog, red stripes, and he had roller blades. Awesome! Up until I found out more about him that he was, thanks to the courtesy of the anime Sonic X, that he was actually a genetic experiment created by Joe Robotnik, who was Robotnik's grandfather. That made him even cooler! <laughs> The fact that he was engineered or developed to be immortal. Awesome! In my opinion. And, um, I namely just want to play as Shadow the Hedgehog just because of clips I've seen. And the commercials I saw when it first came out. But, yeah. That's just it. I don't like how people just criticize Shadow just because of his personality. <laughs> Oh, and the fact that he carries a gun in his video game debut. Yeah, it's a bit superfluous. I mean, he's got powers, too. What the heck you need a gun for? So, yeah, I can understand that. But the whole David Humphrey versus Jason Griffith thing. I mean, yeah, Jason Griffith did a good job for Shadow, but David Humphrey, from what I've heard, I haven't played Shadow Sonic at Adventure 2, but from what I've heard, it's pretty good. Voice actor too. But if you really want to know, my, my favorite voice actor for Shadow is the Japanese one. I don't know, he just did a good job in my opinion. And it's just my opinion. I like all three voices for Shadow. I like all three voices for Sonic. I like Dan Green as Knuckles. I like how he did Knuckles. I even like the Japanese voiceover in Knuckles, too. But. And, uh, for those of you who don't like Vector's voice in Sonic X, and actually listening to it, I, I can understand. It's like, oh, it's so scratchy and irritating. It makes me want to clear my throat. Give the guy some water. Sheesh. But, yeah. The fact that you're gonna start a war over a mere opinion is just pointless. Um, yeah. It's too, this is too long. I might think of doing a part two. But until then, I'm out. Sorry I didn't say much. Peace.